Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead Season 1. When we left off last time, Clementine's missing. We made it back to the house. Uh, Kenny's inside. He's found that bottle of liquor that we found the first sweep through the house. He is wasted. Ben's being all sulky and petulant with me. He's saying, oh, it's not my responsibility to watch Clementine. But it is. That's supposed to be his main contribution to the group right now. So he let her go outside to play in the backyard by herself. And I don't think she's going to be here. She's going to be gone somewhere terrible. What the hell happened back here? Unless she ripped it off and she's hiding in there? We'll hold out hope. But I'm worried whoever's been talking to her on the radio has stolen her away. And if that's the case, we are done with Ben. Kenny gets a pass because his whole family just recently died. He's not in a good frame of mind. Obviously, I can't expect too much out of him, you know. I He's my friend, and I want things to work out for him, but... But Ben has no excuse. He was in a position where, really, he needed to prove himself to the team, and he's not doing it. in there. Doors covered in mud. Don't think anyone came in through there. She went in through the vent on the side. Open it up. And we're really, really lucky that she's here. in there exploring and look look what I found what have we got oh good job kiddo Kenny's gonna be real excited whoa I know right Look at that, Kenny. There we go. We gotta find a way to get it to the water, but... How's Omid? Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Mm. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? <laughs> hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? You're kind of abrasive, but you're probably well, useful to have around. You want the good news or the bad news? Start with the bad. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. But we could try to so fix what's that. what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Krista. Not Crawford. We should go back out on the street, see what we could find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourself. We just found a boat she's that right. they missed. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. They're not going to want to deal with us. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try. If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to us? They might kill us. Cousin, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. 
What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? Somewhere we should avoid. Kind, but I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. Mm. That's putting it mildly. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. Through the hospital? I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. <laughs> I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with oh, medical Oh, that's supplies. what he's after. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Ben. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? Go ahead, pick up. We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. Alright, so the medicine for him. I was wondering at first what his incentive would be. Because they've got all that food and they've got a pretty decent spot. But medicine Is makes it sense. Is going to be dangerous? Yes. It's what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Me either. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Oh, uh, say no, what? No, you're not coming. You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? You are a big help, but you're a specific target to them. said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Well, Molly was wrong. I found those people hiding in the hospital. Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. But they'll kill you on sight, kid. Can't I come with you? It's not safe. Lee? No. I'm sorry. I hope this decision doesn't come back to bite me. Don't let anything bad happen to her at the house. I'm sorry, Clem. They'll kill you. Oh, but she, ugh, if her parents are there, I, I'm not going to recognize them. We'll see how it goes. Now oh, I kind of want to bring her just so she's not out of my sight. Well, too late now. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? Everyone can't fit? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Yep. A boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Ollie. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. Christian no, Omid. Not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of No, Ben. Well, Krista I don't think Krista will part with Omid, so. Who the hell is this? Bree. 
This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? <laughs> I guess not. She can come along, I guess. What are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Now I kind of want to bring her with me. You understand why you have to stay behind, don't you? I guess. Plus, you have a job to do. An important job. I need you to stay here and watch over the house. Watch over Omid. What should I do if something happens while you're gone? Well, that's a good question. Um. Here, I want you to take this. You remember how to use it, don't you? It's just like I showed you. I remember. So if anyone tries to get inside the house that isn't one of us, or if something does happen to Omi... I know what to do. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Oh, now I feel really stupid. If Omi dies, Let's then she's inside. stuck with zombie Omi. Oh, now I really wish we brought her with us. Oh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Let's get this over with. Oh boy. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? Get a good look above with the cover on. Yeah. Quick peek. Let's go. All right, this is a little nerve wracking. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? Well, suspicious. Just strange is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. We're just gonna kill this guy? Oh, boy. Well, I don't think negotiating with him would have worked, but... Is he a zombie? What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Well, looks like they're not surviving as well as everyone assumed. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! Well... This is not the kind of danger I expected. Oh, now I really wish we had Clementine with us. Because if we've got to run for it, will we be able to get back to the house for her? I mean, we'll have to, but still. Fuck. Fuck! Do you think they saw us? Probably. Definitely. Shit. Ben? What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. Well, what always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. Settle down, Ben. No, this is good. This is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than our guards. Exactly. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Yeah, it hasn't Every changed. Time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? Then it doesn't no. matter. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Actually, thank you, Krista. 
I'm, I'm with you on I that. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Ben? Ooh. Yeah, it looks like they tried to contain it when things went bad, but, uh, didn't work out. You think that's where we need to go? Just keep moving. Here. All right, Miss Bree, like the cheese. Thanks for helping us. I hope that she's actually right, and this is the place to go. Looks okay. Everybody in. So this actually is a pretty big relief that we don't have to fight, you know, people who are capable of stealth and conscious thought. I'd much rather just be up against zombies. Figures. Although it does seem dangerous that we're walking around with that radio. I hope he has it turned off, because if suddenly Mystery Looks Man like started talking to us... Some kind of command center. That's not stealthy. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Uh, in the door labeled armory, I would suppose. There's gotta be something good in there. Here. Just give me a sec. What is it, Bree? Uh... Any idea where we could find a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Fuel would actually have been better. Question. Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? She was here for a bit. Just makes sense, doesn't it? What about the fuel? Where should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, no. Two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Sounds like a good plan. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll All right. go with you. Thanks, Watch Molly. Back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. This is a good plan, because Ben is the weak link. So, we're leaving him where nobody's really depending on him. Have a look, see. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. Hmm, we could grab some for Clem. Probably not the smartest plan. He's got other things to do, but so he could put fists and crayons in his pocket. At the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. Fuel's in a shed across from the playground. Okay. It's just outside the stairwell. Bree said the entrance to the auto shop was in the alleyway by this fire escape. What else we got? The Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. Not that it matters much now, I guess. No power, no TV. What about the books? Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. Are we gonna grab a doll for Clem? Creepy. Yeah, no, don't take one of those. They are really creepy.
All right, Ben. How's it going? Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks. I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? It would be nice. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. This was a good opportunity to be snarky with him, but... No, wait. There is something you can help me with. What? Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. All right, let's hear it. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. He'll kill you. Come on. This again? It's my fault Doc and Katya got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? You have to. Just have do to it. Tell him. Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I've thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling I'm him. I'm telling you, man. That's the burden you have to bear. Real. Real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend... Excuse you, Ben. Fine. Do whatever you want to do. We need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever going to get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself. For the good of everyone. You hear me? Yeah, it's not just about you and your conscience, Ben. I hear you. I'm going to get back to this. How are you going to ask me for my advice and then get mad when it's not what you wanted to hear? Looks like they have quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Interesting. I have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. Just a bunch of paste. All right, that might do it for this room. Oh, no, we got to look at our hopscotch rug. Hopscotch. All right, out we go. I think Ben's gonna end up doing something. Either talking to Kenny or making some kind of mistake. He's gonna cause a lot of trouble and trauma where we don't need it. Principles of Crawford. All illnesses and medical conditions must be disclosed. Children under 14 not admitted. I didn't quite catch the rest, but I'm thinking it's probably just gonna mirror what we've already been told. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Okay, looks like we need to go this way. We'll just leave these rooms alone. Oh, and there's Molly. The alleyway to the auto shop's down here. You coming or not? Settle down, Molly. Startled me. Okay, we're not going to the playground. We're going to do our part, and then we'll check on everybody else. Take a look at those shell casings. Shell casings all over. Whatever happened here wasn't good. They've already been fired. They're worthless. Well, then why'd we have the option to pick them up? Oh, that's a very small Man, handprint. I don't know the combination, did he? And open it without the combination. Well, Molly could probably pry it open with her handy tool, but that's not really the priority right now. I think it's empty. Those Crawford people probably locked this stuff up somewhere. Okay. Well, let them do whatever they gotta do. I actually care the least about the medicine. We'll head to the alley. Yeah, it's not sounding very good. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But 
Where the hell is Molly? She already went through, right? Molly, you out here? Take it easy, Lee. Keep it down. Guess I'm not going that way. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. We'll see if we can find this battery. Not too worried about where Molly is. She can come or she can go, however it plays out. I think we'll get the battery, and then we'll, if we have the option, we'll see about helping Kenny with the fuel.